Please, I am her. That was so, that was, that's all I'll never forget. What just happened? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <gasps> that was, he was wide. Did you see how wide he was? That's nuts. Like, I don't even know what just happened. I, I, I don't know. But he's down. That's all that matters. Gosh, what a buck. That's so cool. What we're doing right now currently is waiting on Tyler. I'm checking for ticks. Ah. Sorry, I had to get a piece of gum. It's like going on a date. <laughs> so we're getting ready to pick up our uh, my Kentucky deer, your early season buck, and of course Dillard's deer, who called and was supposed to meet us here, but he said, man, I can't make it, just pay for it. Yeah. And I'll meet you later on. So we'll see if we ever get the money. If we don't get the money for it, I told him every day he doesn't pay. It's an inch off his time. Yeah, at least an inch. Yeah. So I'm going to go in here and check him out. What's up, buddy? Got the decoy out. Yeah. Yeah. You got it set up. Man, pretty stuff. Yeah. Okay, he turned out pretty pretty. He's a big body, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a donkey. Looks good. Old Dillard. Really had a pretty cape on him too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He still has some of the summer. Mm -hmm. Got a little yellow or orange. Yeah. That's it right there. That's from dragging <laughs> him out. Yeah, all that. That's but you, dude, he didn't have, he had no hair on his legs yeah, from dragging right. him out. Hmm. Yeah, it was brutal. Yeah, he's pretty. Oh. Huh. Looks good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cake too. That has a lot to do with these early season cakes really not, you know, slick and pretty. All right. I'm gone. Great, thank you, buddy. Yeah, man. Thank you, Slipper. You like pretty capes? Yeah, buddy. Put her in the back. Well, let's throw Dillard's in the back of the truck. Yeah. Tell him you trip walking out of the doorstep and knock the tine off. He'd cry. Oh, my God. Any of y'all have a friend like that? Always shows up for the party and never wants to help cook? That's Dillard. So we love to travel and we travel a lot to hunt, but there's just nothing quite like hunting in your hometown. All right, it's middle of July. We're sweating, but we're out there scouting, trying to get a game plan ready for this year. Right here, because ultimately they are coming down this road. And why wouldn't they? There's a water source right there. When your dad cuts it. I think you can talk him into leaving about an acre right there in front of the stand. Oh my dude, your dad's a, a tough cookie. Just trying to figure out where to put my camera. And there's lots of options, but one particular option that me and Carson just thought of, I've been saying for like two years now to put a camera in these woods. The stand that I shot my buck out of last year is right behind us. And there are 95% of the time the bucks are coming out from these woods. And there's nothing but deer signs galore. I mean, trails for days. The only thing is, and if you're from North Carolina, you can relate. I just don't want to go in the woods right now because there's ticks everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are familiar with North Carolina, but the ticks are horrible. You have the deer ticks, the sea ticks, you have the nests of ticks, you have the alpha gale ticks, the lone star ticks. They're just a big old mess and we try to avoid them as much as possible. I didn't have my sound on. First day, first sip for me, second day of the season for NC. You're interrupting me. <laughs> second day of the season for NC, first sit of the season for me. My father-in-law cut um, some corn this morning in the field that we like to call Randy's field. Hopefully a good afternoon sit. So we shall see, here we go. All right, guys, I'm not trying to be very shaky like the Blair Witch Project, but I will do my best. Um, first hunt of the season. Here we go. Super excited. Um, I'm actually on a road that I like to call Copperhead Road because it's normally never anything but copperheads. 
like even when we were growing up me and Carson we would be out here playing nothing but copperheads um so I'm glad I have my rubber boots on because I do not want to run into one of those things in the dark This segment brought to you by Easton Archery. Before we get too far into Lindsay's hunt, I want to go back and show you a little bit of how we set this unique spot up. It's pretty cool, um, kind of what we were thinking and, and why we did what we did here. We've just pulled up to our last spot that we're going to bait today. And uh, right there is the stand. Right there is the corn. Where it's gonna be and a lot of timber a lot of bedding right there all the way down and what I got dad to do when he cut the corn was he left the standing corn and then on the on the other side of it it's cut so it's gonna give these deer what we're doing here is we're kind of designing a way to where these deer or bucks feel safe they can come out right here and they can stand in this corn and kind of check what's out in that field especially during the rut so we're kind of gearing this up toward the rut time but they can stand over there, they can stand out here, see what's going on. If we get the wind right coming this way, then what that's going to do is a buck can stand right here. He can wind, this, wind check this field for does, and he's not going to smell us. So we're trying to create a natural safe spot for him to come out into and uh, check for does when in reality we're right there. So just something to think about playing the wind, setting up your your sets and tailoring everything to set up for the wind uh, in your favor to get ready for the rut. So we're gonna put this corn out and go check a couple more things. We're gonna look at what's on mama's camera. Oh goodness. Tracer, look at those bugs. Think. What do you think, baby? Oh, no, it looks good. <laughs> We're just now checking the card pulls. This is from the uh, box stand that I showed you earlier. And we're going to see what's on camera. But I think we got a old slammer on here. Mm -hmm. And if so, I'm going to try to force Lindsay into going tonight. Stop it. We got some really good weather for the next Stop day or two. And after that, it's going to get, yeah. So. All right, so this is how we, we hunt these deer in North Carolina. Being in our backyard, uh, it allows us to be able to choose the right wind, right situation, good weather. We try to watch our cams, and when it's time to go in there, we can dip in there and try to get them killed. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. About to go hunting. Um, it feels so good. This afternoon is perfect fall weather. It kind of snuck in on us, but it's awesome because it makes the deer on their feet. He, they're going to go ride the big tractor, as he says. You can talk for a second. I can't see you. This is my first time hunting with Charlie. And um, we're back at the same box blind that I've been hunting the past couple couple times that I've been hunting. But I'm out here for some does tonight. And I'm just going to make a good shot. This is going to be fun. Me and Charlie, we were just having a good old time in the stand, just talking, enjoying the evening. But when that doe stepped out, it was go time.
So it was pouring down rain. My knock is in the corn glowing. Pretty sure she crashed. We're gonna put the cameras up before they get soaked and then we're gonna get to tracking. Got my dough. It was pouring down rain so we couldn't bring the cameras but she ran about 30 yards dead as a doornail. So excited. Got my hunting buddy here. I'm so excited to have shared it with her. It's a hunt that I don't think either of us will ever forget. You just got that boat too, didn't you? Yeah. Just today, sighted in. Look at his chest. Oh, it felt so good. Yeah. This segment brought to you by Elite. We just took the trail camera and uh, all my cameras and nothing showed up good, nothing in daylight. Lindsay's got some shooters on her side of the farm, but for us it's kind of, for mm -hmm. me, nothing. Huh? No. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird. So uh, what we're doing is I pulled a couple cameras from some spots and we're going to set them up in some different spots. Just trying to spread out and see if I can locate my target buck cage. So we're going to go in here and get it started. Stands right there. Cutovers. All right, so one hunt that was really cool for me this year is one of my really good friends, Adam Perry from day six, um, came down from Indiana and got to spend an afternoon and go hunting with me. And it was, it was just a cool hunt because Adam's one of the most genuinely nice people I know. I love every second I get to spend with him. All right, guys, we are headed in. Adam with day six with me. I'm gonna go in here and see if we can't pop a couple of does. It's been raining for three days, so it's finally pushing off. So the deer ought to be up and moving. We're hunting the cut cornfield. Just trying to get some meat for the freezer tonight. Let's see if we can make something happen. Alright, we're in the stand today. Just got settled in and I'm hunting with my good buddy Adam Perry from day six. He is up to bat and we're gonna see if we can kill some does tonight. There he is. What's up, homie? We'll see if we can get her done tonight. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the show. If you want to see other content, make sure to go to our YouTube channel, Final Draw TV. Check us out. This segment brought to you by Stealth Cam.
so it's my birthday and last year I actually had pretty good luck on my birthday I killed my first birthday buck ever and then this year I'm trying to repeat that I've got several bucks showing up on this trail camera so I'm gonna dip in here in the morning see if we can't make a little luck all right here we go see how this goes today is October 8th birthday and I'm gonna try to get a birthday buck last year I killed on my birthday killed a buck I was hunting a really crazy on so that worked out good we'll see how the day goes there's a ton of bucks in here they're starting to cruise around and checking these bait piles out and cruising these ridges I've seen a ton of scrapes we'll see if we can't make it happen this morning That's a deer though. I've had a ton of pictures of this year and he just walked right in under me. I'm sitting here praying, thanking God just for an awesome day. Today's my birthday and I am so blessed to be able to do this and enjoy this sport. Man, he is a hammer. <laughs> Nothing like doing it in your home state. He crashed right over there. He didn't go. God, that's awesome. I just told a Tyler, and uh, he is going to come in here and help me track this deer up. I texted him. He told me happy birthday, and I texted him. I said, I know what I want for your birthday. He said, what's that? Help me drag a deer up this hill. He despises it. We had to drag two, two bucks up this hill last year. Now we got to get another one up, but it's all worth it. He did say if I shot a doe, he was leaving me down here by myself, so hope a doe doesn't come in. <laughs> this is deja vu. I think that's what I was he probably made it coming in. It wasn't, it wasn't cleaned out. <laughs> yeah, I think he hit it this morning. All right, tower's here. <laughs> Help me drag. We'll go see if we can put our hands on him. I heard him crash, he didn't go. Didn't go 20. I was setting him about 60 yards, so. Go to here and see if we can put our hands on him. Pumped up and it's cold. God, feels good. Yeah. Drove that one to the dirt, son. Looks good, don't it? He's right down there on the creek. <laughs> hey, Kika.
God, he's a big old body deer. Heck yeah, man. Man, birthday buck. It's a deer I got a gazillion pictures of. And uh, daggum, he don't look a lot better than he does in the pictures. I just got to show you sometimes them cameras, man, you just can't tell, but he is a tank of a body. Soaking wet, he run, when I heard him run up here and stop for a second, then he crashed him, and it's just poured blood all the way down this hill. He ain't taking that, son. God, I couldn't be happier. He is a beautiful deer. That is awesome. Thank you, Tom, for the help, man. So it's always fun when you get to shoot a big buck, but the best part of the hunt for me and Carson is when we get to take it home to show it off to our kids. Charlie, give us an interview. Give us a recap of this. Home. Yeah, tell us what happened. Give man. us. No. Come on. <laughs> Don't be shy. This is a triple beam. Non typical. Whose birthday is it? Daddy. Daddy. Thank you. Another birthday book. Yeah. Thank you. He's tied up. Appreciate it. We found his bed where you hang tied down. Okay. Can I get a high five? You the man. <laughs>